The ragdoll cat is a type of mixed-breed cat with a docile, relaxed personality. It is characterized by a gentle nature and a tendency to go limp when picked up by the scruff of its neck. Ragdolls are usually large and have pointed coloring. Ragdolls are a breed of cats that have a unique appearance. They have a hair coat which is usually white, long, and silky. Ragdolls have a distinctive personality and temperament which makes them special to some adopters. They are not only bred for their looks, but also for their personalities. This breed of cats is also known as the puppy cat because they will stay near you, follow you from room to room, sleep with you on the bed, and even sit in your lap while you watch TV or work on your computer. In this video, we will give you 10 fascinating things you didn't know about the ragdoll cat breed. But before we get into the video, if you would like to learn more about your pets, and get useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. The first ragdoll cat was registered in 1966. The ragdoll cat isn't a new breed of cat, it was created by an American breeder who lived in Riverside, California. She registered the first ragdoll on December 30, 1966, and named him Daddy Warbucks. And Baker, a breeder who lived in California during the 1960s, is credited with creating the ragdoll. Baker found a long-haired white cat, domesticated it, and then mated it with another long-haired cat. Baker bred the original ragdoll by selecting for personality traits like friendliness and having long plush fur. Today, we know and love these big soft cats. 2. They all have beautiful blue eyes. All purebred ragdolls have blue eyes, which isn't a surprising fact. True to a cat's nature, their eyes can come in many different shapes and shades of blue. However, it is important to note that Tika does call for blue eyes on its breed standards and the deeper ones are preferable. Some ragdolls have light blue to dark navy colored eyes, while others might range from medium shades of blue to a sapphire color. If a ragdoll isn't that eye color, it could be because they're mixed breed, but not always. One breeder has reported that ragdolls with mink markings can also have unusual eye colors. A sepia ragdoll has an ongoing fur coat color but does not generally have consistent eye color. Its eyes may be green, gold, brown, or blue. 3. The ragdoll is one of the largest domestic cat breeds. Male ragdolls typically weigh between 15 to 20 pounds, whereas female ragdolls range between 10 to 15 pounds. Maine Coons can weigh up to 18 pounds and Norwegian Forest Cats can weigh up to 16 pounds. However, the ragdoll is generally the largest out of these three breeds, with an average weight of about 17 to 19 pounds. 4. They have dog-like personalities. The Cat Fanciers Association says that ragdoll cats are more interested in human beings than other breeds. They have a tendency to interact with people, greet them at the door, follow them from room to room and wish to help with whatever they might be doing. Ragdolls take after the best traits from dogs, such as loyalty and playfulness. They're fiercely loyal to their families and love being near their humans, you may find your cat begs for attention or simply likes to be nearby. Either way, you're not alone in this. You can even find ragdoll cats that will play fetch with you, follow you around the house and sleep in your bed. If you're a dog person but allergic, it couldn't hurt to look at ragdolls. They may be just what you're looking for. 5. They are called ragdolls because they are floppy. The International Cat Association says that the name ragdoll comes from the fact that most of these cats will go limp like a stuffed doll when held. Yep, they are called ragdolls because they go limp when you pick them up with your arms. Just like the toy with the same name, these cats display one of their more prominent characteristics. Some ragdolls may not be lap cats and don't really like to be picked up and held. However, they're very tolerant and will stay relaxed when in your arms. They'll definitely cuddle you when they're in the mood for some snuggle time. 6. All ragdoll kittens are born white. Aspen Ragdolls notes that all ragdolls start off as snow white and will darken over time, with the exception of mink ragdolls, which are born brown and stay like that. Light colored points can generally appear after birth, but darker points like chocolate and cinnamon might only show up a few weeks later. 
After about one to two weeks of age, most breeds will have reached their final color and pattern. The breeder is able to predict the colors and patterns of kittens due to their parents' features. In most cases, they will darken to their adult color in one to two years. 7. Ragdolls have an above average lifespan. Ragdolls live a long time and can be anywhere from 15 to 20 years. However, this only applies to an indoor cat and we think they should always be inside for their welfare and safety. Having an indoor, outdoor cat or an outdoor-only cat exposes them to many potentially life-threatening diseases that can lower their average lifespan. Ragdolls are what is known as a slow-maturing cat. What this means is that they are not considered fully mature until they are at least four years. During this time, they can continue to get bigger and their patterns won't start changing for a while. They may gradually get bigger over the next four years. 8. Ragdoll hair doesn't usually get matted. Even though ragdoll cats have long hair, it doesn't usually get matted because they lack an undercoat. They don't tend to shed much either but require grooming just the same. Their hair still needs weekly brushing though. 9. The ragdoll breed comes in six different colors and four patterns. One good thing about the ragdoll is how there are a lot of color options to choose from. It comes in red, cream, lilac, and blue. Patterns come in bicolor, van patterns, and mitt patterns. A ragdoll cat coat can be either bicolor, van, mitt, or color point. Within that, you can have six colors, seal, blue, chocolate, lilac, red, or cream. And then within that colors are your solid points with no white coloration, lynx points which are a mixture of browns and yellows, and tortoise shell. A ragdoll's coat can come in many different colors and patterns, but is still recognizable. Typically, these cats will have white paws and noses. A color point ragdoll typically has no white on it anywhere and looks very much like a Siamese. Mitts will usually have brown patches of color on their feet or around their nose. Bicolor ragdolls display color on parts of the body where their colors show. Van ragdolls only display color in their masks ears, and tail. 10. Ragdolls are quiet by nature. Ragdolls often get overlooked because of their docile and quiet personality. However, Realtor.com has named them as one of the best cat breeds for apartment living, mainly because they are so friendly and don't complain when it's time to enter a new environment. They also have a downside though. If your ragdoll is in pain, it'll be hard figuring it out, as they won't show any sign or complain. The bottom line is, the Ragdoll is a beautiful cat breed with an admirable personality and history. With a dog-like personality and their lovable nature, they'll make the perfect pet for anyone looking for a unique cat breed to love. If this video was helpful to you and you would like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like the video and let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section.